channel here over subscribes our quick little rings of power video i'm always going to take the uh, opportunity to have a good laugh at rings of power you know when the thing is over when they finally call it quits i'm like yeah that show made 400 million dollars yeah but it costs 750 million dollars so congratulations amazon and keep in mind a troll in in the left-wing worldview is just anyone who disagrees with them that's the same thing for you know the the, uh, the uh, Austrian corporal sliding down the slide, anyone who disagrees with me, is literally the Austrian corporal. So my two favorite websites are The Daily Stormer and Mary Sue, and they're both funny in their own way. You know, I, I was thinking how cool it would be to do, a, obviously, obviously something cool in TV, those two things do not go together. And uh, the, they're talking about the TV, regular TV, cable and whatnot is dying and they're looking at it and they go oh yeah it doesn't appear like it has a floor where it, where it'll level out it's, it's just going to keep keep going so um good ideas for tv just just don't go together i was thinking a uh, reality show where you put like the far right hugo boss types on, on an island with these far left mary sue type girls for like three months so i mean obviously the girls would be pregnant but by the end of that they'd probably also be a uh, far right as well anyway so uh that the guy showed you we're very happy to have you guys too rings of power showrunner response to season two trolls and this is uh rachel ula tawowski um i think she's like on the spectrum or something she has a, a bunch of weird takes but they she appears to be legitimate where rachel leishman uh kind of knows is uh, has some self-awareness where she's doing this bit like she's just i don't know purposely being silly so um the useful idiots at the mary sue make this weird point where they're talking about the trolls who criticize the uh acolyte the she hulk the rings of power and then all those other shows that have come out in the past five years except her point falls flat when you realize that the shows that us evil nazi trolls hate watched failed objectively they didn't they didn't get a second season <laughs> so these alleged hate watchers were not enough to 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 put the thing over the books to get to get that where's where's she hulk now oh yeah we canceled it for for low views okay then i mean the things you're saying don't don't make sense and what happened to the acolyte did you write this before you know you knew it was canceled and uh i'm I kind of get the feeling that a lot of the Disney, a lot of the Disney Star Wars streaming shows would have been canceled, and and some are getting second seasons uh, because it would look too bad to cancel them. So even though if um, like if if Disney was in a better position, well if Disney was in a better position, most of those Star Wars shows just wouldn't, they wouldn't even bother making them because nobody's effing watching them and. But them, so they have to give them second seasons. Otherwise, they can't say like, "Oh yeah, everything we tried at Disney, the Disney Plus has failed." It's like they just can't have that. So even though they have to continue to lose money on a second season, and keep in mind some of these shows are like fifteen to twenty million dollars an episode, they have to have a second season, even if fewer people will watch the second season. And you're going to see that same thing with Rings of Power. They uh, got the license to it, and Amazon is dripping with money in a way that Disney is not because amazon is a packaging and shipping and ai company and computer tech company disney's entertainment and that's its whole branch is making woke cancer that fewer and fewer people are watching so if amazon has the rights to, to this and they had it planned to do five years it's not like a regular company that would go two years and then just cancel it and say ah this didn't work you know we, we, we rolled the dice amazon can afford to make it for all five years even if nobody's watching it um and i don't think it would be reputational harm um I, I don't know i don't know if that would if that would tie into it or if, i mean if eventually eventually if they get to the third season like okay Every year it goes down and down. This is just getting absurd. But the, a lot of the stuff with the streaming, I think, for these shows is they make it even though nobody watches it, but it helps fill out their um, digital bookshelf. So when you go to Disney, Amazon, Netflix, and you're, you're thinking about signing up, you scroll through and you see all this stuff. That's why I hate the word content because so many things have just become really lightweight, fluffy kind of filler material. And... um which is, yeah, one to talk. Yeah, it's okay. It's one thing if it's free, but Disney, Amazon, Netflix, you're paying whatever a, a month for it. Now, some of those things, they have commercials. It's like, so wait, this is like $17 a month 
plus commercials. It's like, oh, well, they just want you to pay the $22 a month with no commercials. And I don't know, maybe if you had one service and it was okay. And a few years ago, it was okay. But you look at this stuff now, it's like, oh, okay. So like another plucky little black girl is leading the way. And which would be okay if, if, if I know, I know you didn't expect me here to say that. If all the bad guys weren't blonde hair and blue eyes, can you, so can the bad guy also be black? No. Uh, okay. Then, I mean, uh, a vast, a vast matey and a set sail, if you know what I'm saying. And the thing is, honestly, it's not even, um, the <clears throat> this stuff's not even worth uh, sailing the high seas for. It's because it's, your time is worth something. And this crap is, it's just crap. Anyway, so, um, a lot of these shows, we're not getting that second season. And, and while The Rings of Power is ongoing, I, I assume that it's not going to make a profit on that $750 million investment. So it's also going to be a failure. And in a few years from now, it, it's like, oh, yeah, well, what did you expect? And I can also guess that most new movies and shows that come out are also going to mysteriously fail or break even. Like, um, like uh, The Little Mermaid. I think it finally broke even. Shang-Chi just broke even. And then there's a ton of other stuff they had that have just lost a million dollar here, $10 million there. Eventually, that all adds up. And Disney has lost $900 million the other year. And I don't know. Maybe they'll turn around this year. But So now the difference is Rings of Power, The Acolyte, The Witcher, Willow, pretty much all the Star Wars and Marvel is unwatchable. She-Hulk actually was watchable. It did a lot of stuff right. And it's like you could have just went with Ally McBeal. No, that's attractive women kissing each other. Yeah, that's so 90s. All they had to do was stop the anti-white racism and misandry. Just treat people equally. But they can't. They literally can't treat people equally. And this is all mainstream MSM uh, across the spectrum. Could not make a show um, with uh, people who bar airplanes who look like they're from... Um, the warm sandy region or, or people committing malum and say cr say crimes they couldn't of course be black it's just it's just that's they're so deep into this um they painted themselves so deep into this corner that they would rather go bankrupt than turn this around which hey i'm, I'm willing to sit back and watch anyway so all this stuff doesn't add up why don't the obese blue-haired college lesbians and the cat ladies and the coomer soy boys why don't they watch the shows the thing is they don't and then they blame these youtube channels that are far right-wing nazis like the quartering and nerdrotic and yellow flash and all those kind of uh, review channels that are just you know they have a channel they talk about how crap this stuff is and for some reason they're so almighty powerful that they're convincing millions of left-wing people to not watch the show it's but the left-wing people aren't watching these youtube channels in the first place unless they're actually hate watching the channels which in some cases might be true and i mean some of these people some of the left-wing kids are mentally ill they will screen record these videos they'll not this channel it's too small but they'll take notes for like the big channels um, so they can they can try to report them to YouTube and try to show clips up on on Twitter and she, I mean it's just it's it's pathological stuff because you look at that and I'm like I know you're not jogging or or banging your girlfriend or eating right I, I imagine you kind of these people greasy haired furiously scribbling notes on on some Brian Cannell channel when he you know said some slur about some stupid movies. These people are, they have this, they have this like addiction to virtue signaling. It, and it probably is the dopamine channels as well. So uh, if the, le the left wing aren't watching these movies, so, but why aren't they watching these movies? And the simple answer is because they suck. It really is just as simple as that. The woke crowd says they want one thing, but they don't actually watch it. Or, or play the woke video games like Concord and Dustboard and the latest Star Wars, I think is not doing well. So there is your conscious expression. It's usually a virtue signal. Then there's your deeper unconscious desire where they say they, uh, they love woke crap, but they refuse to watch it. And they'll make every excuse possible. Like this is the wrong game at this time. And the right wing will come out there. Or just normal people come out there and go, oh, I didn't, I didn't like the race swapping diversity, POC, LGBTQP, whatever, and pronouns for robots and and, and the left wing goes, no, 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 woke wasn't a problem. It wasn't woke. That wasn't the problem. It was something else. And, like, the other people are saying, but it was a problem for us. But the left doesn't, the liberal kids don't think that anything, anyone who disagrees with them is not valid. It's like, but in the real world, they're, they're the ones, like, neither side is ponying up the money for these kind of games and movies and comics or whatever. 
So they, 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 um, the numbers don't lie. They, uh, the woke have their cake, which means they virtue signal on Twitter, but then they eat it too by not supporting the woke shows, games, and comics. So they say one thing and they do another. So Rings of Power is Lord of Rings in name only. They took Tolkien's work and they erased the people who inspired this, the story, the magical European people who made all this possible. They race swapped them out and replaced them with Larry Fink's globalist checklist of, of non-euros. And the story just doesn't make sense. Not it, they, it, they watch it and they talk about it at the conscious level. But the deep subconscious level, it doesn't connect because it's not real. Because the, the original story is based on the European people, not Africans or Arabs or Asians or Indians. Those people are not all of the same tribe. They don't create stories together. And the non-Euros in these stories don't create these stories on their own. They have their own stories, and they're great in their way, but they're not Lord of the Rings. They're not Tolkien's story. Just Tolkien created this, and he's an Englishman from 100 years ago. So these cultural stories are not within these races' history. These are our stories. So for a lot of us who don't have that PC brainwashing, myself, it's a brick wall where we see Afro-Hobbits and Elves because that is not what they are. They are Euro-Hobbits because they're based on the Irish and the English and whatever because it was an Englishman who wrote the stories about his childhood experience and then World War I. So if you're a Tolkien fan... It's just a hard line in the sand. Or if you're, you know, like us, not not politically correct, but um, to the scared, woke SJW crowd, and they really do live a lot of their, their life uh, in fear of being pushed out of the, the herd, they're forced to accept it as if it's just perfectly fine. Oh, I, you know, they, they updated it for inclusivity. And it's just in San Francisco smelling their whatever. So they'll accept anything because they have no line in the sand. They're rationalizing the consumption of Garfield and geese right now because it's not blonde men who are chomping the pets. They have no dogma. They will Gordian knot themselves to say that they accept anything if it's what the left is going along with. It's like that line experiment where they, you see what you can, you can brainwash a crowd uh, through peer pressure. And then people who have that disagreeability index will just tell you the truth um, all the time. So I say... Um, what the, they will publicly virtue signal, but they don't actually watch the shows because the best shows are, are organic storytelling. I mean, that we've had thousands of years of organic stories. And I just saw the 16 millimeter New Hope uh, and Empire Strikes Back the other night. And I think Crack uh, is playing them on Odyssey right now. He's playing uh, Return of the Jedi tonight. And the stories actually hold up pretty well um, for what they were, kids' stories. They stood the test of time. But Disney Star Wars won't stand the test of time because it's not an organic story. In the end of Star Wars, Han, Luke, Leia had gone through the war and become friends, and they would presumably, in your imagination, go off to have further adventures together, at least in the animation and the comics and the extended story universe. And it feels right because they look like they belong together. In Disney Star Wars, they just went down a diversity checklist and put <laughs> black lesbians riding horses in space. They put all the people together, and they just get along perfectly. And, you know, social media has done a lot of harm to Hollywood because you have these, you have actors, directors, and producers who are just completely lacking in self-awareness. And Michael Jordan's the greatest, one of his great quotes is, you know, Republicans buy shoes as well. So it doesn't deeply connect with the audience because it's not based in reality. It's gaslighting the opposite version of reality, in many cases 100 degree, 180 degrees opposite. And political correctness prevents most people from articulating the issue, except for those of us who have you know, washed off a lot of that, that PC filter. And it's not important because the movies aren't important because it made all those mistakes. The Lucas Star Wars, it, you know, it's not Shakespeare. It was just silly, fun movies for kids. But it was, um, it, it's rare that you make movies for kids that adults can sit through and actually think, oh, you know, they did this pretty well. The sets and the costumes for Star Wars for 1977 and 80 were friggin' amazing. I mean, you've, in Empire Strikes Back, when um, Luke and Vader are fighting on that, that raised platform and there's, you know, a bunch of a bunch of cutouts in the light and there's a bunch of, uh, what, dry ice making all that kind of steam and whatnot, it looks, I mean, it, you 
think you're on some kind of spaceship or something. It looks legitimate. Or the, the design of the Millennium Falcon is supposed to look like a World War II uh, bomber or something. It's like, yeah, you you really, I mean, you're feeling like you're in this set. That's how good the sets were, and they're 50 years 50 years old. Um, the thing is, yeah, Star Wars is not important. I'll give you that. But it stuck with the audience 50 years later and sold billions in connected merchandise. Disney has not had the same deep connection. Yes, the movies did very well, but everything after the movies, which usually accounts for um, multiples of what the movies made, those absolutely flatlined. They're they're making toys, they discounted them, and they just had to pull them and ultimately destroy them because nobody wants a Rose Tico doll or a, who's the black guy, Finn, the janitorial guy. It's like none of those characters have any deep connection to you and your spirit and to each other because you know it's not organic it's the opposite of organic it's it's literally propaganda and uh you'll watch lens flare you know you'll watch two hours of lens flare and special effects and cgi and admiral holdo flying a spaceship through another spaceship at the speed of light and then you stop and go wait wait a minute wait wait hold on why uh why didn't they do that before i mean the speed of light's a great trick because velocity squared and whatnot so why didn't you just strap a like program a, a rocket to do that or have a have a robot fly a, an object with mass to do that it's like oh don't ask questions i mean that's you know i don't even know if you have to have physics to high school physics to understand that like most kids would would look at that and go oh, there seems to be some plot holes in disney star look at the lens flare it's just a movie about space wizards Yes, but it still has to be internally consistent. And to, I'll be, to be fair, the more you like the characters, the more you'll forgive. That is absolutely true. Plot holes in the original Star Wars for sure, but the, the magic and the bottle chemistry of those three, four main actors, or the, the three people who played Darth Vader, there's the, the voice, and then there's the model, the, this guy who's seven foot tall who's inside the uniform, uh, and then there's the, the head actor, the face actor, so it was kind of interesting, they had three guys, um, but there's the chemistry between them that is not, it is so good that you'll for, forgive you know, a lot of the other kind of nonsense plot holes because you just want to see the three of those people together with their robots and have a great adventure. But in the Disney thing, oh, there was no chemistry because it's 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 kind of literally the difference between propaganda and organic storytelling. It, it's it's like, I mean, a lot of this stuff is just so, I mean, literally and not figuratively obvious and, and almost dumb to say, um, like the left wing will say one thing and do another and and it's I'm not it's that's not just a phrase. I mean they'll they'll literally virtue signal about how much they love these kind of woke, diverse, inclusive, wh- whatever the Klaus Schwab checklist is. And then those same people, you go, oh, I mean, if you're, I would love to to be with them one night. And go, oh, so you're gonna we're gonna watch Rings of Power or Willow or Witcher or one of one of this you know lesbian space horse rider kind of you know nonsense shows and they look at you like you're crazy i'm like oh let's you know they'll, they'll find some excuse like, let's just watch something else like oh but, but i i'm reading your twitter i'm sitting right next to you i'm reading your twitter it's like oh, that's just for twitter so it's a, there's a lot of people like that i mean there's like there's a i knew chicks like that too who are one way um you know super feminist and then in the real world that was all like just social media stuff it's it's weird when that kind of you see there's like yeah, people are just different not me i'm pretty much the same I'm, I'm nicer in person is the only thing anyway um so disney doesn't have that deep connection um oh i want to say look at their 100 year anniversary animation oh, what was that thing called i it just it just it just 100 year disney animation thing it's something about a pox pr- princess versus uh, i think it was an evil white king who probably represents walt disney for the the modern you know igor uh, disney so the thing is almost everything they do now is woke preachiness that barely breaks even so anyway this amazon guy is just uh just uh where's the it's just kind of following the script of um you know they make garbage People will go online and they mention that it's crap. Then the directors and actors go on Twitter to call everyone racist and sexy and whatever, but nobody cares anymore. Then the show fails and they just repeat the formula until they run out of other people's money. And in this case, it's Amazon's not, never going to run out of money for Amazon Prime. Disney's in a little different uh, situation. It's kind of interesting to watch Disney. Anyway, um, F, F rings of power. No hate watching. No hate watching. 
you know, Avast maybe uh, set the set the mainsail if you have to watch it. The truth is, it, they're on number five by now. And the thing is, some people might have Amazon Prime just for the shipping stuff. But uh, if you don't, you can go sail and you go look for it and you watch a little bit of it and you're like, oh, this is not worth hate watching. Not, it's not even worth watching for free. I'd rather just go go get into the uh, the other books after the main, you know, Hobbit, uh, Lord of the Rings, all those other short stories that came after that, which I've got some on the shelves I have to crack. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all next episode.